I've been wanting this set forever because I know I'm going to love these muted colors. This is the Ganzai Tambi Art Nouveau set. It's 24 colors and I am in love with the palette already. <laughs> Just looking at it. Let me lift the lid. All of the colors are listed here. You can see there's the English and then the Japanese uh, writing as well. Look at these colors. Oh my goodness. It's got a plastic coating on it. I'm going to take that off. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> I can't wait to swatch these. You can see they're so new. Are you ready? <laughs> so I have my Stillman Burn Beta Series book. It's 8 by 10. I have my template cut out of a manila folder. This is going to be the mass tone and that's going to be the lighter version. And I have it laying like this in each square. And there's 24 colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the mass tone. But when it comes time to do the lighter value, I'm going to do that off of camera. But you'll be able to see it with each one as we go. And at the end, I'll show them up close so that you can really get a look at them. I will be splashing as well because I like to see the texture that's involved. So let's get started. I'm so excited. I'm going to bring you a little closer. The first color is saffron yellow. Ooh, <laughs> so creamy already. Love that. Wow, these are going on so smooth already. For the lighter, I'm just dipping in water. And then I will be splashing. The next color is green gold. I can't even explain going into this paint how it feels on the top. It just feels so creamy. Oh, I like this green. You know I love a pea soup green. <laughs> Next is flax beige. It's a nice color. It's deeper than buff titanium. It's gorgeous. These wet extremely easy. They move around really well. This color is Ecru Beige. It's kind of a light color. Do you see it here? That's beautiful. That's a pretty color. It's a little more on the yellow side, I think, than above titanium. It's really gorgeous. It reminds me of American Journeys buff titanium, a little more on the yellow side and a little clearer than like a Daniel Smith. Pale pink is next. I don't have any real pale pinks. I have a shell, shell pink. So we'll see how this compares. Oh, it's a little more light. It's even paler than shell pink, which is beautiful. Look how pale. <laughs> this is a great color for flowers. It would be a nice first layer for sure.
Then we have coral pink. Ooh, this is more like a shell pink. I think it's got a little more red in it than shell pink. That's beautiful. Kind of reminds me of watermelon. Add a little, add a little more red and you'd have it. There's a great difference between these two. I really like that. The next color is Potter's Pink, so let's see how that one compares. It's more of a dusky Potter's Pink. This is similar to my pink clay color almost. I wonder if it's going to granulate like most Potter pinks, Potter's pink. And then we have Vermilion. This is the shocking color for me in this whole set. It's just so bright. But I bet it mixes great with all of these colors. And you can see it's more of an orange color orangey red. And then we have alizarin crimson. It's more of a mauve alizarin crimson. Wow, is this lovely too. I'm going to have to do a sketchbook all in these colors just so that I use them because they're gorgeous. They're definitely opaque colors. So if you don't like opaque watercolors, I want you to think of a mix between watercolor and gouache. I would say that's what these feel like. I don't mind opaque colors in my watercolors. This color is mauve taupe. Look at how beautiful it is in here. I already like it just by the way it looks in the pan. <laughs> oh yeah, this is beautiful. I don't have a color like this. Purple undertones, but definitely opaque and muted. I think this set was made for me with the muted colors. And then we have Old Mauve. Now I would not call this a mauve color, it looks more violet to me, but let's see what it looks like on the paper. It seems like a definite violet to me. It's like a dusty purple. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. And the last one for this page is grayish blue. It's lovely in the pan, I can tell you that. <laughs> Think of a dirty aqua that's got some gray in it. It's lovely. So far, look, the first 12 colors. Oh yeah, this is such a Kelly palette. <laughs> I wanna just start mixing. We've got 12 more to go. I'm gonna scoot this all the way over and make sure that you can see the palette here that I'm using. The next one up here is Cobalt Turquoise Light.
It's almost like a cerulean blue. It's very pretty. It's a little brighter, not so muted. But I know just touching any color is going to mute it. I would love to mix this with the coral pink just to see what how it would mute it. And then we have pale aqua. This one's pretty. I hope it's this pale. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. And it definitely is more muted. It's got a lovely tone. I don't have anything like this, so I'm happy to have this as a color. Most of the blues are just way too bright for me. So this is a nice color. Pull that down so you can see it a little better. Then we have cobalt green. Look at this color in here. Ooh, it's a pretty color. <laughs> Again, a little intense. I think of this and vermilion as the most intense so far, but I would dull it down. And then we have Billiard Green. This one looks very blue-green. Looks lovely in the pan here. Looks intense though, let's see. Oh, that's so, it's muted. It is bright though. Well, bright in the sense of me bright. Shadow green is next. It's this deep color up here. It almost looks black in here, like a black blue. Ooh, it's like a paraline green. That's lovely. It's a paraline green that to me has a little more blue in it. Pea green is next. I love the name of it, of course. <laughs> this and the green gold would go very nice together. This one's a little brighter where the green gold has a little more yellow in it. Really pretty. We've got ivy green next. This color looks really intense. Kind of like a chromium, chromium green. Definitely wouldn't use it on its own. But this with a little bit of vermilion, vermilion but it would tone it down really, really nice. Green gray is next. Loving the color right there. Oh yeah, this is my kind of green. It's kind of like a olivey green appetite from Daniel Smith. The only thing that could be better for me with these colors is if they granulated. <laughs> it would probably become the set I always used.
beige gray. This is the color I'm probably the most excited about. It reminds me of Sandbar Brown in colored pencils and Prismacolor colored pencils. Oh yeah, this is lovely. And this is a color I'm missing off of my watercolor palette. Three more to go. This next one is really beautiful too. It's called Yellow Brown. Oh, that's pretty. Kind of reminds me of Yellow Gray from Holbein with a little more brown to it. Mars Yellow is next. Look at the Mars Yellow. <laughs> Would not have called that a yellow. So it's a pretty bright color. could definitely mute this down with any of these colors. The buff titanium colors, the blue. The blue would make it a little more gray because it's complement. And the last color is Venetian red. Look how deep this Venetian red is right here. Whoa. <laughs> this to me is more of a violet brown. Think of a kaput mortem on the brown side. That's kind of what this color reminds me of. It's beautiful. Look at this page. Wow. So I'm going to let these dry and then I will be back with the names so we can look at them up close and personal. Here's a final look of the colors. I'm going to go over them with you first and then I will show them up close. So this is saffron yellow, green gold, flax beige, ecru beige, pale pink, coral pink, potter's pink, vermilion, Alizarin Crimson, Mauve Taupe, Old Mauve, Grayish Blue, Cobalt Turquoise Light, Pale Aqua, Cobalt Green, Billiard Green, Shadow Green, Pea Green, Ivy Green, Green Gray, Beige Gray, Yellow Brown, Mars Yellow, and Venetian Red. I have to say this is a very beautiful palette. There are a couple colors that I wouldn't use straight up, which the saffron yellow, vermilion, probably this cobalt green, probably this ivy green. Otherwise the rest of them, I'm really excited about trying. So let me bring you up so you can see the texture and the loveliness of the colors. Aren't they beautiful? So if you had to pick one, what would be your favorite? <laughs> I know I always ask that hard question, right? For me, I'm really, I'm really excited about these pinks. I actually like this old mauve. At first I didn't, but it's grown on me because it's kind of got a vintage feel. This mauve taupe, these two are, are probably the most interesting for me besides this coral pink. I like the, um, the flax beige, the beige gray, and the yellow brown as well. 
I think I am going to devote a whole little sketchbook to these because that's going to be really fun is just getting used to these and what they will do. Leave me a comment below which colors you really like or which ones you wouldn't use either way. If you were inspired by today's Kiritaki Art Nouveau set, please like, comment, or subscribe. It will help my channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.